Pog of Gaming here with 10 new tips and tricks for Rainbow Six Siege. You probably noticed that we have seen a lot of new players who joined the Rainbow Six Siege community over the last oh, few mind. weeks. <laughs> a lot of people have found the game under their Christmas tree or they have used their hard earned cash to buy the game themselves. This has led to a lot of frustration for the more established players. Because let's face it, the new guys don't know the game that well and that's why I made this video. You will get 10 basic tips and tricks that the new guys need to know so that they can keep up with the more experienced players. For the more established guys, I don't expect you to watch the entire video because there are some basic tips in here. However, the tips in the beginning of the video might still be very useful even though you are an expert player. So, for the expert players, you can force the enemy into making mistakes. The easy way to win is to kill the enemy, but if you know where they are, then you can force them into killing the hostage. I wouldn't do this in a ranked game, but if you're just having fun with your buddies, then this is a fun thing to do. Ask one of your buddies to cover you just in case, grab the hostage and start running. You would be surprised on how many people there are who start shooting the hostage. In this clip, I just asked one of my buddies to cover oh, me. Oh, yeah, give me a second. Securing hostage. Run! 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 Hostiles have shot the hostage. <laughs> Extraction failed. Hostage killed. Fucking hell, yeah, he, he took the hostage, didn't he? Took him out clean. For the new guys, please don't shoot the hostage when you are attacking. Make sure that you know what you're shooting at and don't shoot at everything that moves. It's pretty embarrassing. Don't get me wrong, we have all done it at least once. It will happen to everyone. One day I was sniping and I gave the poor hostage a clean headshot. So don't feel bad about it, but just try to avoid it if you can. Oh yeah, it might be a good idea to select a different operator than Fuse. Someday you will find out why, I promise you. In one of the previous videos I showed everything that you need to know about the armored panels. However, there was some confusion. So to clarify, you can take them down by hitting them with your gun. It will take you exactly 12 hits to take down the panel. You can do one hit per second, so it will take you exactly 12 seconds to do this. Keep that in mind when you are almost out of time. Castle can deploy three of these panels. Imagine that you placed all of them and one of your buddies suddenly wants to leave the objective. So he tears down your panel. Most people get upset about this, however it's totally unnecessary. What most people have failed to notice is that the game will give you access to a new panel so you can easily replace it. No need to start calling them idiots or to start swearing. And it usually ends up with somebody getting team killed or getting kicked. You know how it goes. How well do you know your drones? I have a question for you. During the preparation phase, your drone got trapped by one of the signal jammers. Do you think that you can still use this drone again or not? I will tell you in a second. For the new guys, you will have access to two drones. One during the preparation phase and one in game. Keep in mind that if your drone didn't get destroyed during the preparation phase, that you can still use it. But as soon as you start using your second drone, you won't be able to go back to the first one. If you are on defense, then do your best to kill all those drones. They will give intel to your enemy and the more they know, the harder the game will become for you and your buddies. If you do get spotted in the game, then relocate. If they know where you are, then you are a sitting duck waiting to get killed. Don't make it easy for them, so keep them guessing. When you are attacking and you see a signal jammer, your drone will get stuck. But don't let this stop you. If you time it right, you can easily jump over the signal jammer. Back to our question. If your drone got stuck, can you free it again? Well, you can. All you have to do is to destroy the signal jammer and you're good to go again. This is why you should kill the drones that were trapped by a signal jammer when you are playing on defense. If you start playing as Rook then please drop your armor pack in the very beginning of the round. Don't wait until the end of the preparation phase because the roamers on your team can't wait and stand around for that long. Just for info, in case you didn't know already, you can reload while climbing. And last but not least, let's give you a closer look at Fuse and his cluster charge. First of all, try to identify a good location to place your charge. Use your drone to see where the enemy is hiding and adjust your plan accordingly. Don't rush after you attached it to a wall, window or ceiling. The defending team can't see it on their side of the wall. 
Use your drone again to see if they are hiding in the same spot and at the right time unleash hell. The good thing about this charge is that it will do massive damage and it will create a shooting hole for you at the same time so that you can finish off the enemy. In the right hands, this cluster charge is one of the most effective tools for the attacking team and it will be one of the easiest kills that you will ever make. I hope that you liked this video and that you will share it with all your buddies. This was Fog of Gaming, thanks for watching and I will see you on the battlefield.